What is going on YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza and this is KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that. And this is just a quick video. The Doc Martens 1490s versus the Solar Vare astronaut boot. There's a price difference between these boots, but is it worth the difference? We're gonna find out coming up next. So what is going on y'all? I'm your brother Reza and this is KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that. Still using the library voice because my son is upstairs asleep. So I just wanted to knock out this quick vlog uh, for y'all about these two boots because as y'all know, I love the derby boot style and I literally just got these in today and I wanted to, I guess, share with y'all my observations with these boots. So up top right here, we have the Solivare Astronaut Boot. It's an 11 eye boot really cool made in england and down below we have the doc martens 1490 boot very similar boots one made in bangladesh one made in england which one is the better boot well let's try and find out first of all we're going to start with the packaging now this one at the bottom i got from doc martens in the united states ordered it online and as you can see the box it came intact for the most part in pretty good shape this box on the other hand came all the way from Mario, England via Germany. And as you can see, this box has taken a massive, massive beating to get uh, across the pond. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the box. Other than that, the boxes are actually very similar. The packing is very similar. But in this case, Doc Martin's box in much better shape. But let's get past that and talk about the shoes. All right, so here we have the Doc Martin's 1460 versus the Solivare Astronaut boots. This is not a one-to-one -one comparison. The uh, Solivare 11 eye Derby boot would have been more of a one-to-one -one comparison with the 1490, but this is the boot that I like from Solivare, and this is the boot that I like from Doc Martin. So that's why I'm comparing these two, and if you're in the market for these boots, you might also be comparing these two boots. So one of the things you might notice immediately is that the Solivare Astronaut boot has a little bit sleeker of a um, silhouette to it. If you look at it from this angle, if you look at it from the back, if you look at it from this way, if you look at it from the bottom, you can see that they're very similar, but just slightly different. And I didn't want something that was exactly like the, well, I was trying to figure out if I wanted something that was exactly like the 1490 because I already, I already have a pair of 1460s that y'all know are my like some of my favorite boots that I owned. And trying to figure out a replacement for that boot because it's very hard to get these boots repaired in the United States. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to go with the 1490 or the uh, Solivare Astronaut boot. Let's talk about the differences real quick. Obviously, you can tell the first difference is along the sole. The Solivare doesn't have this ridging that the Doc Martin has. Doesn't have the uh, yellow laces. The Solivare has a much more subdued gray lace. Um, this is high shine. This one is supposed to have been the high shine, but it doesn't seem as shiny as the Solivare. Both of these materials feel very, very similar. The leather, like the Doc Martin in this case actually feels thicker. I know a lot of people say that the Solivare material is thicker. But the Doc Martin feels thicker in my personal, just micrometer, my, my finger micrometers. The stitching is also very different on these. Now, like I said, if this would have been a uh, the regular 11 eye Derby, the stitching would have been a lot closer, but because it's the astronaut boot, it's different. So the uh, stitching is a lot closer on the astronaut boot versus on the Doc Martin right here. And then on the heel, you have the leather that's uh, capped on the back of the heel and it's smooth on the inside versus the Doc Martin where there's this extra piece of material inside of the heel instead of it being on the outside. So now you're left with this stitching right here. I kind of like the way that this one looks a little bit better uh, as far as the way that the heel is done. Then you go to the back of the boot, you can see how this back piece of leather is done all the way up here to the top where these little tags are on both boots. A lot of other small little details, the gusseting on the uh, sole of air boot ends right about one, two, three, four right here, but it's a little tighter at the tongue, but then it's cut kind of low. So you get realistically the gusseting is probably right, right here in between the third and fourth eye hole. Whereas on the Doc Martin, the gusseting goes up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six eye holes and is a lot higher. The laces, the laces seem similar, but are very different with the Solivare. You can lace this thing all the way up easily with the um, laces that come with it. With the Doc Martin, the laces I find to be a little bit short. So 
I don't know why Doc Martens gives you such short laces, but that's the laces that they do with it. When you look on the inside of these boots and you look at the actual leather grain, the Solovere, this, this version that I have, seems to have a very, very nice grain of leather in it versus this one right here is a looser grain of leather, which uh, I noticed putting my feet in and off of it. A lot of these pieces of leather just like come off and get stuck to my socks and to my foot versus with the Solovere, it's a very, very smooth, more, I guess, structured is the way to put it, grain of leather. The tongues are different because the gussets are different. The tongue is thicker and wider on the uh, 1490 versus on the Solovere Astronaut boot. They give you a thinner, flimsier tongue, which I kind of feel like will probably do a lot more of this going to the left and going to the right thing as it becomes you know, worn in and broken in versus this Doc Martin tongue will probably stick centered a lot better because due to the way that the gusset is designed. Um, all of this is obviously speculation because these boots are both brand new. The eye holes. So the eye holes on the Doc Martens are really smooth around here, which I feel like is a good thing long term because it's probably going to wear less into the actual tongue. The uh, eye holes on this one are these kinds with the little edges on them that when you press them in, these edges flare out and that's how they get, they stay in place. I found on older shoes that I've had that when you have these type of uh, eye holes, they tend to leave indentions easier in the tongue of whatever shoe you're wearing. So not really too much of a fan of these, but maybe they are superior to the ones that Doc Martin's using. Not 100% sure. Oh, and when you look along the welt, uh, like along the bottom, you can see that this one is kind of, you know, it's not the best craftsmanship in the world. It's kind of sloppy. And when you look at the Solovere one, um, Gotta actually find it. A little bit neater, but just only marginally neater. And then across the bottom of these things, again, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but this is really impromptu. Um, this one, you can actually see the uh, shank in the bottom of it, the wooden shank in the bottom of it. And the dock doesn't have a shank. And I've never found docks to be uncomfortable. For, so for me personally, don't really need a shank. Now trying these shoes on, I actually find the Solivaire Solover out the box to be more comfortable than this 1490. Don't really know why that is though, but it just feels really nice. Um, this one actually has an insole on the inside that you can't really take out easily, probably without taking, without ripping it out, which I find interesting because all the other docks I've ever had had a very easily removable insole. The Solver, on the other hand, has um, a piece of uh, padding on the heel, but the rest of it is the hard material that is on the bottom of the boot. As far as socks and everything goes, with my thin, darn tough socks, they both feel pretty darn comfortable and true to size. When I go up to my thick, darn tough socks for a wintertime sock, there's a noticeable lack of space with this one, which makes me think I might need to go ahead and size up to a size uh, eight and a half in this one if I were to keep it. Whereas I know with the size eight and Doc Martens, especially after it, not Doc Martens, well in the 1490, I know with the size eight, it's gonna stretch and it's gonna allow me to wear a thicker sock or a thinner sock. So I, I feel more comfortable with how this will age versus this. I don't really know this as much about how this boot will stretch, but I would, one would imagine that it would stretch pretty similar over the course of time. So the fit on both of them is very similar, it's very good. The design is very good, the look is good. The question I guess, that I wanted to address really quickly in this video is which one is better? There's a $75 price difference between these two shoes. This one right here, the Solovere uh, Astronaut Boot is $271.16 after taxes and everything. And I paid $196.02 for this uh, Doc Martin 1490, both shipped to my house. So is this one really $75 better? I'm gonna have to honestly say, I don't think so. It doesn't, I mean, I would say aesthetically, I like the way this one looks better. I never really realized how much nicer these boots could look with a not yellow, uh, with, without the yellow stitching in them until I saw these boots and tried it on with clothes. This one looks much better without the yellow stitching and the slimmer profile. The yellow stitching on this one can kind of clash with certain clothes, I guess, but it never clashes with my clothes because I only wear all black. But I could definitely see the limitations of this yellow stitching and this um, uh, gum sole versus this darker sole and this uh, dark stitching. So aesthetically, I would have to say that the Solovere Astronaut boot, or probably any Solovere at this point, would probably be a more versatile boot to wear. But 
based on the construction and my initial impressions between these two, it's really hard to look at these boots and see a $75 difference, to be quite frank with you. Yeah, there's a $75 difference because obviously labor costs in England are a lot higher than they are in Bangladesh. Trust me, I know. But if you were just, you know, didn't know the country of origin for these two boots, it would be very difficult, I would think, to ascertain which one is of better quality, period, point blank. Like I said, the only thing you can really see is the grain of the leather, I guess is what you would call this. I'm not a leather expert. And I'm not going to act like I am. But if you look at this one and then you look at this one and you see the tightness and how dense this one is versus this one, that's really the only difference. I mean, this one has little small imp imperfections and things that you can see if you really look at it. And this one also has very small imperfections that you can definitely see if you look at it. So I'm gonna have to say pick your poison when it comes to Solivair versus Doc Martin. It's a really tight race. And I mean, I think that it's really marginal gains for that extra $75. I'm your brother Reza, this is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, like, subscribe, comment, and all that. And I will see y'all in the next vlog because my son is waking up. So peace y'all.